Hey guys, really quick, uh, I'm having a merch sale right now on my website, so go check it out. You can get a whole bunch of merch that's on sale right now, including that and much more. So yeah, check it out. All right, enjoy the video. See ya. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's really good to see you again, dude. I hope you're doing well. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single one of my videos. So press that subscribe button for an extra greeting. All right, folks, we've got a bad one. <laughs> we've, we've got a rough one today, okay? It's very coarse. It's a coarse video, all right? So put your gloves on. Okay, I feel like straight people, right? Heteros. Uh, we do some pretty cringy stuff sometimes, right? I think that's, I think that's safe to say. They'll have a daughter and they'll name the daughter Equestrian because the mom likes horses. Or they'll have like a a gender reveal party where they're like set a school on fire and then whatever color the smoke is coming from the school that's what the baby is right <laughs> like damn rest in peace to all those kids in that school that just burned but the smoke is blue we're having a little guy <laughs> and i fall into that category dude i'm a straight white guy and all the time i see just embarrassing weird ass shit that straight people do all the time right and it's one thing to do all that weird shit, right? But what's even worse is to post it all over social media. So today we're gonna be looking at some content that can only be described as uh, hetero, no, oh no. And it's it's gonna get rough. So I hope you're, hope you're ready. No, you're not, but I hope you are. Quick shout out to uh, the account on Instagram at hetero cringe. Big shout out to them. I pretty much found all the pictures that we're gonna be talking about uh, on that account. So yeah, go give them a follow. All right, let's go. A real woman will do anything for her man, even if it's selling her leg and two eyes just to make sure he's happy. I feel like I just moved houses after reading that, you know? Cause there's a lot to unpack. <laughs> I don't care, I don't care how much you love someone. Don't sell your leg and both of your eyes just to make them happy. If doing that makes your significant other happy, uh -oh. they need help, they need professional help. I really hope no one saw that and was like, ah, oh, okay, that'll do it. That'll save my relationship. Okay, baby, you ready for your surprise? You're gonna be so happy. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, take your blindfold off, okay? <laughs> Oh my, oh my god, what the fuck? Did you take it off? I can't tell. What the hell happened? What, why is your leg gone? What, are you okay? Not just my leg, silly. My eyes, too. Oh, sorry, what the fuck? Why? Why did you do this? Isn't it obvious? I sold my right leg and two eyes to make you happy. Why would that make me happy? Cause that's what a real woman does, okay? And with the money that I'm making from my body parts, I'm gonna buy you a Tesla. Oh my God, <laughs> that's amazing. Those are so expensive though. That That's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. Okay, now wait. No, that's not what I meant. All right, next one. Don't lose a loyal man because he's occasionally unfaithful. <laughs> Fuck man, it's like some guy like got caught cheating and he like quickly made this meme on his phone. He was like, it just popped up. This Jay-Z and Beyonce. <laughs> Are we like Jay-Z and Beyonce right now? I guess we are, and they kind of stayed together, so. So next we're gonna watch a video, okay? A quick video. Uh, this is a little older, I remember seeing this like a year ago, but when I think about just like straight people cringe, this is all I think about. So it's a nice video of a couple, they're like singing to each other at a rave. The caption is, took my girl to her first rave yesterday and said, welcome to my world. And she replied, our world now. And I'll remember this night forever. There is no words to describe how much I don't like that. And listen, I know every relationship is different. They seem happy. Great. Good for them. But dude, a rave has got to be the least romantic place of all time. You know, babe, I have to tell you something immediately. What? What do you gotta tell me? I just gotta say, you've been awesome. I'm having a great time with you, okay? Back at that dead mouse set, when I swallowed my tongue and puked it back up, you were there for me, okay? And when I tried to fight that guy, because his tank top was messing with my vibe, you pulled me away, okay? What's your point? And when I pulled a muscle last night, when I tried to suck my own dick. Stop. Okay, what do you want to tell me? I just want, I just want to say, welcome to my world. Well, I gotta be honest, I'm having a terrible time, okay? So I'm just, I'm just gonna go home, all right? Did you just say, 
our world now? What? <gasps> no, yes. no, what the, no, I didn't say that. I'll remember this night forever. Whatever, man, I'm, I'm leaving, all right? <coughs> what, are you choking on your tongue again? <coughs> you can't suck your own dick. Okay, next one. Okay, so we got a guy, he's covered, he's like surrounded by smoke and he's playing the cello, but instead of a cello, uh, it's a woman. That's fucking weird, man. I mean, I guess it could be weirder. Cello is probably like the most normal instrument to be, I guess. Imagine if it was like a, he was like playing the drums instead. It was just like this weird fleshy, like human drum set. And he was just drumming like, <laughs> why does he look so sad? He looks so sad to just stop. Buddy, you don't have to do that. It's like there's a guy behind the camera, like with a gun, just forcing him to do that. Hey, play your girlfriend's back like a cello. Or maybe the girlfriend is forcing him to do that. Babe, please, can we just go out for a dinner and a movie? How about that? Just once, dinner and a movie? <sighs> please, I can't keep doing Come on, this. babe, you know you want I'm to. I'm not, okay? I'm not doing it. Okay, okay, fine. Just a bad dream. What's wrong? What's wrong? Did you have Did that you have dream, dream again? again? Has this ever happened to you? You're having a nice sleep and out of nowhere, you have a nightmare about playing your girlfriend like a goddamn string instrument and you wake up, uh-oh, she's a cello. It's happened to me more times than I can count. Okay, and I can count pretty high. So that's why I wrote my number one New York Times best-selling book, Help, my bae's a cello. If this has happened to you, buy my book and say goodbye. To cello. Has this ever happened to you? You see some nonsense commercial about a pointless book and you still want to purchase it? Of course it has. It's happened to me more times than I can count, okay? And I can't count very high. So that's why I made the New York Times number one best-selling VHS help. I bought a pointless book again. You'll learn tips and tricks from industry professionals on how to avoid buying books. VHS players sold separately. Also, if you can explain DVDs to me, please give me a call. Has this ever happened to you? You start writing a comedy sketch and you don't really know how to end it so it just keeps going and getting more annoying and insane? Trust me, it's happened to me more than more times than I can count. <laughs> and I can count the regular amount. That's why I made the Has New York Times number you? one start writing a comedy sketch. It was just a bad dream. Has this ever, ever happened happen to you? you? Okay, these next memes that we're gonna look at are, they're kind of like a crossover with like boomer humor because I've only seen like old people post these. And I don't know what it is, but like anyone over the age of 50, any married couple over the age of 50 just seemingly hates each other for some reason. You know, it's like those Rodney Dangerfield jokes when he would just talk, talk about how much he hates his wife. Oh yeah, my wife can't do nothing right. She can't cook the worst cook in the world. Gave my kid alphabet soup, he spelled out help. You know, or the classic Henny Youngman joke. Now you take my wife, please. And don't get me wrong, I love Rodney Dangerfield. He's hilarious, and that Henny Youngman joke is probably one of the best one-liner jokes ever written. But that was also like 40 years ago or 50 years ago or some shit, so let's move on maybe, I don't know. But let's take a look at some, just because they're so fascinating to me. This one says, Sir, please understand, to buy an antidepressant pill, you need a proper prescription. Simply showing your marriage certificate and wife's picture is not enough. <laughs> Where's your husband? In the garden. I didn't see him. You need to dig a little. <laughs> Killed him, buried him. A stock market crash is worse than a divorce. You lose half of your money and your wife is still around. I won't talk to him, so he knows I'm mad. Nice. She hasn't bothered me all day. When my wife makes me angry, I look at her through a fork and I pretend she's in jail. It heals me spiritually. <laughs> you all heard a knife and fork, we'll get ready for wife and fork. You know what I mean though? Like these memes are so weird. Like if you're making those, dude, if you make these memes and you're being serious about it, just get a divorce. If you're holding up silverware in front of your face to make it look like your wife is in prison. Hey man, just call it quits. Call it quits in the whole relationship, all right? Put a fork in it, if you will. It's done. Also in this photo, <laughs> it looks like the mom is like taking care of the two kids by herself. And he's the one pissed at her. This stupid wife of mine. <laughs> Always feeding the kids, changing the kids' diapers. She never changes my diapers, bitch. So, can you help me with the kids for once, please? Just, I just need your help. Just, a, just, just once, okay? Please. You got some nerve talking to me like that. <laughs> yeah, 
visiting hours are over. Yeah, lock her up and throw away the keys, boys. <laughs> She's in the clinker. Okay, I've had enough. <laughs> We're leaving. Guards! Jailbreak! And I've only ever seen like older straight people post these because, you know, they come from a generation of, you know, not like communicating, you know, not really talking about things, just kind of like pushing everything down. And then there's all these marital issues that they didn't want to confront head on. And now it's too late to even like get a divorce. What are they going to do? Like start dating again? No, they're 78. So they just kind of joke about it and they hate each other until they die. But or or their wife really is just some dumb bitch who can't cook. Who knows, dude? Don't get me wrong, cringy couples come in all shapes and sexualities, but I think the reason straight people post these cringy things more frequently is because like, straight people never had to like fight to be allowed to date the person they love, you know? Like gay marriage was legalized in the US only five years ago. So I feel like, uh, like a gay person doesn't really take it for granted as much, you know? Straight people have been allowed to do like whatever they want forever. So there's nobody to like keep them in check, you know? A uh, perfect example, that TV show Sister Wives, you know, that show about the guy with four wives and 18 kids, and they all look like they strictly eat boiled chicken and work at a Home Depot. There's proof right there that we can just get away with anything because there's 14 seasons of that show, okay? That's three and a half seasons per wife. I'm straight, but that's incredible. <laughs> that must suck living like that, dude. That must suck. Like, li like living your life like that, you have to, like, before you do anything that's even remotely feminine, like liking when the sky is pink, you have to, like, preface it by saying you're straight. I'm straight. You know that, right? Uh, but I all I'm saying, if the sky had a dick, I'd suck it. I'm straight though, I'm straight, okay? But I'm just saying, if the sky was a guy, I'd suck him dry. I'd put the cum in cumulonimbus, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm straight. I, all I'm saying is I would suck this guy's dick. Not this guy's dick, this guy's dick. What? Okay, we got one more video that I wanna show you guys. It's a TikTok. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to see this. So it's from this, uh, this page called Anxiety Couple. Uh? Babe, yeah? what's your biggest fear? Honestly, the thought of losing you. Wait, what? Like, the thought of never waking up to you ever again. You're the only person that has ever made me smile. Oh, honey. <laughs> it was so cute how I caught him saying exactly what I told him to. <laughs> I mean, maybe she actually tried to do this unscripted and when she was like, hey, what's your biggest fear? He was just like, I don't, I don't know, the, the dark. I'm pretty scared of the dark. And she was like, no. You're supposed to say losing me, and then you're supposed to say a lot of more nice stuff, and then you cry, and then you go under the covers. But it's dark under the covers, that's scary! Wait, what? Okay, well I'm sick to my stomach, so I think we'll end it there. That's all we're gonna look at today, alright? So in conclusion, I think straight people just, yeah, yeah, stop. You just gotta stop. Stop posting stuff online, stop posting stuff about your significant other. Just leave it, alright? Except for me and my girlfriend. Cause I'm a hypocrite. I don't know, I guess there's no real like lesson or takeaway from this video. I just wanted to laugh at some, you know, stupid stuff and I hope you laughed as well. Now that yucky icky stuff is out of the way, let's talk about something cool. And by something cool, I mean today's sponsor, which is ExpressVPN. All right, welcome back to America's favorite game show. What's the best VPN service? And again, the correct answer this week and every week is ExpressVPN. See, I've been using ExpressVPN for over a year now, and I pretty much use it every single day on all of my devices. Did you know that without a VPN, a virtual private network, your info is wide open to hackers if you're online shopping on an unencrypted network? And listen, if a hacker discovers your information, they could gain access to your financial details, they can access all your accounts, all because you didn't have ExpressVPN protection. Now there's a whole ton of VPN services out there, and I'm gonna tell you why ExpressVPN is the best one. They have the fastest speeds, they have apps for every device, it's easy to use, you can connect with just one click, and ExpressVPN was rated the number one VPN service by Tech Radar. Another amazing thing about ExpressVPN is they have servers in 94 countries, so if you want to access content that's not available in your region, couple clicks, zip zop zooey, problem solved my guy. Now this sounds amazing, right? I know, but it gets better. ExpressVPN is less than $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for, okay? Take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in my description. 
or just go to expressvpn.com slash curtistown. All right, that does it for another episode of which VPN service is the best. And big surprise, ExpressVPN is the winner again. We'll see you next week. Seriously though, thank you for sponsoring the video, ExpressVPN. Love you, bye-bye. All right guys, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please press that like button because one like equals one leg chopped off to make me happy. Yeah! Uh, leave a comment, please. Let me know what you thought of the video and if you want a part two, uh, let me know if you've ever seen cringy hetero stuff and please send it to me. I'm open to, to uh, you know, submissions, that'd be great. Don't forget to press the subscribe button as well because I make a video every single week and there's so much fun. And as soon as you press the subscribe button, you become a valued member of Curtis Town. If you don't know, Curtis Town is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor, so you have to be nice to me. It's the law. If you want to see the other things I do, you can check the description, you know, for my Instagram, my Twitter, my weekly podcast called Very Really Good, uh, my merch down there as well, my Twitch uh, link and everything. So go follow me on that stuff. That's it. Uh, unfortunately, I have to skedaddle. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta go. I have to uh, play my girlfriend like a cello. <laughs> see ya. Yeah. <laughs>